Hey, welcome back to another speed test. We have the new Mac Studio with the M2 Max chip in it, and we're gonna put it up against the M1 Ultra from last year. The M2 Max version that we have in the studio is the base model. It comes in at $2,000. It's got 32 gigs of RAM and only 512 gigs of storage, so not much storage, but if you like keeping stuff on external hard drives, then this would be just fine, but $2,000 for this type of speed and power is pretty impressive, so this is definitely one to look at. And on the right, we have the reigning champion, not for long. We have the M1 Ultra Max Studio, fully loaded, 20 cores of CPU, 64 cores of GPU, 32 cores neural engine, but the big thing is that 128 gigs of RAM, which really comes in handy when you're editing these large files and also doing motion graphics stuff. Let's get it underway. I've got a six gigabyte file from a meetup that I shot recently. So let's just open that up, try and export it in QuickTime a couple different ways. That's usually a good litmus test for what we're about to see. All right, we got both our clips loaded up and this is a 13 and a half minute 4K MP4 a shot on a Panasonic S5. Let's say you needed to shrink this down make it a little easier to work with on your system. So you want to take a 4K file and export it to 1080p. I do this pretty often. I'll do it in H.264. So the M2 Max was able to export that as 1080p faster than the more expensive M1 Ultra. Imagine that. So let's uh, try some more tests because I bet we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. And that is great for us because now you can get these super speedy times in a $2,000 machine, which is crazy. So this is one of my previous sessions from a video a few weeks ago. There's 30 gigabytes of junk in this folder. Let's just see how long it takes to compress these folders. All right, neck and neck. This is a good sign that the M2 Max is outperforming the M1 Ultra on just easy tasks. So let's throw these away. We don't need this clogging up everything. And let's open up our session here in Premiere. So why don't we just start off with rendering our into out points and see who wins for that. All right, nice. Not bad, still very close, neck and neck. Let's go check out our settings in the, make sure this is a fair fight. The $2,000 M2 Max Mac Studio has 32 gigs. We have allocated 29. Over here, we've got 128 gigs and 116 are allocated. Can we go even more? No, that's the max. And you saw that it didn't make much of a difference in that last render test. So let's do some export tests now. We're gonna kick it off in H.264 and we'll do a 4K export in our favorite YouTube preset.
Okay, excellent. The M1 Ultra finished up first on that one. Uh, the M2 Max was about at 80%, which is still fast. So let's try this again in H.265 export. Let's see if that makes a difference. Wow, they both finished at the same time, so the new M2 Max really loves that H.265, gobbles it up. This is crazy how fast these computers are getting. We are in a new age of video editing where exporting all that, all that time wasted, all that time waiting is just non-existent now. Anywho, let's check out a ProRes 422 export. We'll see how good both of these like that. Excellent, you can really see that ProRes encoder that Apple is touting really doing the trick because this cheaper, newer machine beat this old timer from just, it's a one year old, real old timer. Let's open up a couple templates in After Effects now, we'll run through the same test, playback, and exports. So we opened up this session and as you saw, the M2 Max had a little bit of a head start getting all this timeline rendered and now the M1 Ultra is finally caught up, but did not take long. And this was definitely able to keep up in full mode, which we're in right now. Let's do a couple exports of this and we're gonna start it off in H.264. Oof, no problem for either of them. This is really impressive. $2,000 will get you a lot at the same speed as something that was much more expensive last year. Let's try this one more time in ProRes 422. There we go, once again, M2 Max, crushing it. Let's try a longer session. Let's try something that really will put this to the test. One session that I really love to test with is from a viewer named Marilo. Let's load that up, it's a really nice one. So let's try exporting this in H.264 first, and then we'll hit it with ProRes. Okay, and the M1 Ultra just finished up. But the M2 Max was rendering 12 frames average. I would see a kick up to 15 every once in a while. I insane. So let's uh, try this in ProRes, see if that gives it a little more of a test. Alright, the M2 Max finally stopped, and the M1 Ultra likes ProRes 422, I guess. Okay, but enough of this child's play. We're gonna do a quick time animation export and really see who the champion is. Mm. 
Very nice. The M1 Ultra, still the reigning champion. And it's probably due to that large amount of RAM that it has. So if you were able to stack a bunch of RAM in this M2, just think of how much just think of how much faster it would blow this M1 Ultra out of the water. So cool, cool. Let's try opening up a Da Vinci session. I don't really have much, but we can try exporting that six gigabyte file in a few different codecs and see how long those take. Okay, we got our meetup clip. This is a 13 minute long 4K clip recorded on the Panasonic S5. And we are just gonna export this, do these quick exports, and we'll start it off in H.264. That's awesome. The M2 Max, as you saw, was uh, rendering around 30 frames faster per second. It's gone 321 frames per second. What is going on? This is insane. So let's try a ProRes export and see if that does any difference. All right, the M1 Ultra takes that round, but just barely. So super impressive. The M2 Max, Max Studio, 2000 bucks. So just imagine if you loaded this thing up. So if you do buy this thing, don't feel bad next year when the M3 Ultra comes out and the M3 Max chips come out and it puts this M2 Max to shame. This is just kind of the game and the cycle that we're playing with Apple these days. And so I am quite happy with the M1 Ultra. This has plenty of power. This has kept me happy all year long. If you're in the market, these M2 Max, Max Studios are the way to go. These little guys are changing the way that we're editing. They're giving us precious moments of our life back. It's just one last thing that we have to worry about and wait hours for these exports. Now they're just done in 10 minutes. So wonderful stuff. Hope you enjoyed the speed test.